table of index is usually put at the bottom of a document. It can go anywhere, but that's its usual place. We've got our table of contents at the top, and the next thing we'll do is put an index at the bottom. Again, we don't type this in, we get Word to do it for us. And the system we use is Insert, Reference, Index and Tables. And you can see we've got the Index tab there. There's a few things we've got to set up before we can actually use it. We've got to tell Word which words to use in the index. And that's marking an entry. So we'll just click on Mark an Entry. And this is the dialog box we're going to work with. But again, we've got to have a different starting position to this. So I'm just going to cancel this down. And we'll look at where to start. So as I said, we've got to tell the computer which words to use. The first word I want in my index is the word cockmouth. So I'll select the word. Now I can go through that menu system to get to mark the entry. Or I can use a keyboard shortcut. And the keyboard shortcut is alt shift X. And that brings up the Mark Index Entry dialog box. So it's just a shortcut. That's Alt Shift X. Now, because we already had the word Cockmouth selected, it puts that in the main entry box. It classifies it as a main entry. So it's put the word Cockmouth in there. I could just as easily type that in. Skipping over a few of these for a moment. At the bottom, we've got Mark or Mark All. And the difference there is that Mark will just mark that one instance of the word. Mark All will go through the document and mark every instance of the word Cockermouth. So that's what I'm going to do. Mark All. And I'll close the dialog box. And you can see with my Show Hide On that Word has put a special um, field an XE field into the document for me. Not only on the word Cockmouth I had selected, but if you look down, every edition, every instance of the word Cockmouth has got that on it as well. So once we've marked our words, we can put our index in. I'm going to scroll to the bottom of the page, and let's just insert a page break there. Okay, this way we'll put our index, and we simply do index, sorry, insert. Reference, Index and Tables, select the Index tab, choose the style of formatting we want to work with, and click on OK. And there's our very limited table of index, and it says the word Cockermouth is on pages 1, 2, 3, and 4. Let's go back and mark a few more words. We'll mark history, so I'm going to select the word, and then Alt, Shift, X. It's brought up the word history, I'll mark them all again, and close. Let's choose um, present day character, so we can select more than one word. Alt, Shift, X, mark them all, there's probably only one instance of that. So I'm just marking a few things as historic there. Alt Shift X. Okay, I'm going to go through and mark a few of these. Um, I'll be back with you in a second. So I've marked a few of the entries there. Here's our table of contents. Let's update it to reflect the changes that I've made. So I can right click on the field and update the field. And there's our new table of contents picked up all the words that I had selected. There are other features that we can use. Um, let's select the word Romans, and then again Alt, Shift and X. Picks up the word Romans and I can mark it. If I leave this box open and just select another word, when I click back on the Mark Index entry, it automatically picks up that new word for us. I'm just selecting another word. Let's have Normans. Click back on Mark Index and it picks up that word for us. Another useful feature is the sub entry. I'm going to select King Henry. Oops. 
eventually. But I don't want that as my main entry. I actually want it as my sub entry. So I'm going to put my sub entry there. And I want it to be a sub of history. So history is the main entry that we've already marked. And King Henry is a sub entry. So we'll mark those and see what effect we've got. So we'll scroll to the bottom of the page and we'll right click on the index to update it. Okay, those new ones I've put in, Normans, Vikings, Romans, are all there. And look what happens to history. It was already there. We've got King Henry as a sub-entry. So a quick look at some of the other features. We've got hockey there selected, and we'll just mark that in index, or shift X. I want to use it as a cross-reference. It's using the options I don't want to give a direct page number. I would say if you want to look at the page, the information about hockey, then see the sports organization section. And we'll mark that. We can get it to cross reference to bookmarks and pages. There's a whole range of other things we can do. Uh, but I'll let you have a little play around with those. We'll just see what effect this one has got the C sports organizations. We'll update the table of index. And now we've got, switch that off so we can see it a bit better, Hockey Sea Sports Organisations. So that's Tables and Index. Remember, two-stage process. Select your words and mark them. Alt, Shift and X. Once you've finished marking, insert your Table of Index, Insert Reference, Index and Tables.